Hello everybody and welcome to 4 Minute Film School. I'm your host, Nigel Thornbucket, at your service. And last week on the Backyard Effects, Eric and Jared showed you how to build a dolly. And today, we're going to show you how to use it. Hello, you shady indie mogler. How is that new dolly treating you? It's cool and all, but I can't seem to get a stable shot. I mean, ain't that the point of a dolly? Listen, you little f***tard. Have you primed the wheels? No. If you're pushing, point the wheel out. If you're pulling, turn it to the other direction. Did you put something on it to weigh it down like a sandbag? No. Do I need to if I ride on it? Good question. No. But try to spread out your weight by riding the dolly like a skateboard. But don't try grinding with it. It doesn't work like you think it should. If I'm not going to be riding it, how do I secure the tripod? A good amount of faith. Or you could tie a trucker hitch through the eye hole that you put in your dolly. And remember, the lower your tripod is, the steadier your shot will be. Industry trivia, which one of these is a professional dolly? Ben Campbell had a gifted mind, but when he couldn't pay for school... Where am I going to get $300,000? He was given the perfect solution. You ever studied blackjack? Are you talking about counting cards? On March 28th... Counting cards isn't illegal. Plus nine. Plus five. Dude, I lost count 20 cards ago. Don't call me dude. Will he take it too far? Think you could beat the system? Based on the bestseller bringing down the house. The stakes are high and it's more dangerous. 21. Rated PG-13. And here are some other important things that you should know. Being smooth on your starts and stops is important. Mark these positions with tape. But don't get distracted and forget to pay attention to your scene. Have your actors walk slowly and rehearse before every shot. After visiting the website peachpit.com, I came across several different kinds of dolly movements. The first two are called push in and pull out. Uh, uh, pull back. Can we not put that in? You push in on an actor to emphasize their mental state and create suspense. A pull back is used to exaggerate the environment or reveal something to the audience. A dolly expand is when your character walks into an already moving shot or leaves the frame by walking faster than the dolly. And now let's hear what the forum members are saying. Always remember and secure your tripod to your dolly as last time I went in the hard way and broke my camera. When working with the dolly, make sure that you keep the pace the same throughout and make sure you also don't get yourself in the shot with the shadow coming in. And normally dolly shots aren't made to be fast, so keep it slow. Bin Bin Production says, Why did you guys do that episode? Because it's not helping me. I have deep carpets, so I won't slide, and you can't use it outside in the grass or dirt. Can you chill out for a second, Bin Bin? Just, you, you cool? You all right? Listen, man, lay down some plywood or another type of flat surface for your dolly to, to roll onto, and this is called a dance floor. Your, your dolly can dance on it. Now you can use your dolly and attempt some cool new shots. Try throwing on the turbo mini jib for added wacky hijinks. And remember, kids, be safe. And don't run over anybody's feet unless they deserve it. That'll wrap up 4-Minute Film School for Nigel Thornbucket. I'm Nigel Thornbucket. Have a good day. At the town, leave a message. We'll get back to you. My current video project is a parody on Third Days of Night. I'm making an action comedy about a counter ninja defense force, basically a police officers against ninjas. My current movie project is about a boy who gets revenge on his friend that ate an enchilada, which is one of his favorite foods. Me and a friend of mine are doing a Rocky parody about the career of boxer Stoney McTebbles. <laughs> <laughs>